That's not what I'm looking for. First of the morning. Beautiful rainbow. Get a look at it. Very nice fish. This thing's got a very erratic action when it swims. And it'll get bumps. Guarantee that. And it should get bit pretty easily. Just gotta remember to keep my rod tip down. And it's gonna pick up grass occasionally when it comes over these rocks. But it will come over the rocks pretty easily. Not too many problems. I would prefer to throw it at a 45 degree angle either way and fish it diagonally back to me I'm trying to tune it just a little bit I remember bending it by accident last time I fished it that seems to keep it down a little bit better these things are super easy to tune but they will bend if they get hung up briefly you know they're just they're small but I believe tuning to the right is what works real well with this bait yeah that's much better Sculpin, catching a sculpin. This is what they look like, folks. Look at how beautiful this sculpin is. So pretty. Definitely match the hatch. Look at how green it is on its belly. Let's get you back in, little back fella. This tree. Be able to connect with any of the trout that are sitting right here. I have to cast to that side. And it's like a U-shaped current. I just have to let it drift around. Hoping that one of these guys will pick it up. And I got picked up, but dropped like a hot potato. They're very finicky trout. Although, <laughs> that fish definitely saw my bait and wanted a bite of it. So we're going to get right back in there. Let them see it. get it I gotta get it right back out or it's gonna get stuck that's the thing with these super clear water rivers and lakes as well they're gonna see you much as you see them so your your accuracy has got to be pinpoint when you're making the cast you're only gonna get a couple of shots at them before they figure out 
what the game is. Now I got that. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. It wanted that one too. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. That's a nice little trout. But I've got him interested in it. So hopefully... I can keep capitalizing on this for a second. That one might not get away from me. Yeah, that one's mine. That was a good hook set. This is a real nice trout. Let it finish doing what it's doing. Right in the side, in the corner of that mouth where it needs to be. All right, let me show this fish to you guys. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Just pretty as you please. All right, that's coming home for supper. I'm gonna try and fish a little bit at Cold Springs Access, which is the second public access. And it's shady and sketchy. Um, I think I have the same mindset as John B on that. When if you're fishing by yourself and me being a girl and stuff, um, I don't like to fish out of public sight, if that makes any sense. So, um, not to say that every place is unsafe. Most places are very safe, especially the public access spots. But there's some that just sketch me out a little bit. So, we're moving. I checked out three. Um, there's nothing happening and the water is so low there. So, I'm thinking I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. And I'm going to run down to Charles. We're going to go finish the afternoon up at Lake Charles, down by Black Rock and uh, Powhatan, and see if we can pick up a couple of bass, just uh, kind of round out the afternoon. So I'm headed up um, 342, getting ready to jump back on 63, head down south towards Hardy, probably going to grab a burger because I'm starving, and then... Um, see if I can scrounge a couple little bass and finish the day up on Lake Charles, which is a fun, fun, fun spot. Love fishing it. It's hit or miss. Sometimes I'm real successful there and I'm catching biggins. Sometimes I'm not catching jack squat. So I would imagine they've probably already started the drawdown because they like to flood the, um, the adjacent farms on Charles for duck hunting. So might be good, might be crappy, but we're going to find out. So that's where we're headed. Stay tuned. Sorry about that, Wayne. Thank you. You're fine. Thank you. Have, Have a great day. day. As promised, I'm going to finish off the afternoon here. Goofing around at Lake Charles. I'm going to enter this real quiet. This is the only dock back here. They have not drawn this lake down. I bet you there's some real good ones through here. I know they can hear me. Fish have pretty incredible sense of hearing. Oh, what was that? What was that? What in the hell was that? There we go.
decent first fish. Come on. Right in the corner of the mouth. Really good hook set. Probably just pop that out of here without too much ado. A little guy. Pretty little guy though. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for playing. Go get bigger. Hey, mama. Little bass. Another little squeaker. I'll take squeakers. Squeakers are good. They're pretty. Can't complain about that. Been eating on the uh, bottom. You can see there. That little crusher right there is bright. That's a good fish. That's a decent fish. That's a real decent fish. <laughs> That's a good fish. Just gotta keep it up from under the dock. It's gonna try and go under this dock. That's a that's a good fish, folks. That's a really good bass, y'all. All right, come here, big bye. Come here, Bubba. Oh, yep. Can't boat flip that. You're worth it. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. And the pal is broken on you. I'll take it. Hey fella, you're probably about three, four. Uh, yeah. We're gonna get a picture of you before I let you go. Damn. Broke my pole. I should have known better than trying. I mean, how was I going to get it up otherwise? I'm lucky I got you in. I'm extremely lucky I got you in. Let's go home.